now. Okay, uh, so the valley without wind two. This is a game. Uh, we're continuing with the what the fuck is this shit in my Steam library, which is slowly getting more expletives as I get more and more frustrated. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh hey, isn't this that game that you need like three hours to understand it? Are you shitting Sounds me? Sounds about right. I I think or the, the other game AI war one of them at least. Wait, why are the? If you do not use this. <laughs> Fine, keep tutorial on. Uh. Oh man, look at... <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's wearing a loincloth. I thought he had a sensor bar, or she had a sensor bar over a ding-dong. Oh man, we've already got magic, health... The lady whose picture made it look like she had a Hitler stash when I glanced at it real quick. And wearing um, combat heels, which is good, because I love me a Damon combat heels. Yeah, let's be Varen uh, Gobbard. No, that's not our name. That's a shitty name. Our name no, is going to be Harvey Milks. Harvey Gobbard. Milk. No, we're, Har we're Harvey Milks Milk. There's a, there's, a, cock Roberts. there's a sweet joke for you. <laughs> Draft lock. What? Aqua. <laughs> These names are so stupid. Sleet lock. Yeah, that's my favorite deck in Hearthstone right now. Uh, <laughs> so, I, I love using my sleet lock deck and my entropicist and my lump, my lubromancer. Yeah. So did you like actually find any games you liked so far? Yeah, there's just been three that were pretty cool. Toki Tori 2 was pretty cool. Um, this one, by the way, since I resized it to uh, 720p, uh, doesn't look like the menus fit right, which is a good sign. Uh, Elemental was pretty cool, and Retro Slash Grade was cool. Wow, these names, though, man. Draftlock, Aquagrist, Sleep. I think you should be a lumber man, sir. <laughs> yeah, I kind of have to be a wood magician. You gotta, you gotta harness the power of the trees. <laughs> You are ready to become... Oh, am I a Satan? <laughs> nice! <laughs> Harvey Milk's Milk. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, I'm a wood Satan. You could have heard of me. Yeah. Oh man, I already got a crystal. This game sounds awesome. Shit, I love games with crystals in them. Finally, I already got my first part of my J.O. Crystal. <laughs> <laughs> One sec, I'm using my mighty wood. But yeah, I I heard this was actually like a pretty alright game, but it was one you need to kind of spend time off, and also it looks kind of like shit. Well, I you should have seen the first one then. That looked even worse. Yeah. This I can just confirm looks... this game kind of looks like shit. It just looks yeah. like a Flash game is the problem. It, it looks like... Quit milling like... around! Fuck off! Okay. The sprites themselves have look alright, but it's just like that janky animation you get in shit like Shadow of the Beast. Okay, I would like to go away. But I don't know how. R rip. Oh, there it was. That was a good joke. Oh. Okay, there's the tutorials. Oh man, Steam reviews are mixed. That usually means it's an atrocity. Holy shit. That's not oh, a yeah, good sign. Oh yeah, that's not a good sign. No, it's not. However, that's actually a good sign. Um, according to the text box here. Okay. I mean, like, I mean, even that procedurally generated horror game has positive reviews, so well, if something people has... people are fucking stupid when it comes to horror games and procedurally generated. People just love horror games, even if they're really fucking bad. Yeah. Also, yes, procedurally generated horror is about the worst idea on the planet. Yep. <laughs> For the record. I can use... My mighty whip crack. Listen, I, I would totally love it if I had a horror game in which I could either go into the dark dungeon or the dark dungeon. Yuck. Yeah, you can play a game where you can't see anything or a game where you can't see anything. Or, or I mean, you don't know where you're going. There's no way. When is it? 
One when sec, I'm talking to this, uh, this rip-off Shadowrun character. When is the true horror going to come and you just have to dodge the sun? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's actually a game I think already. Sun Sailor or something. I'm pretty sure that's levels of Super Mario Brothers 3. Yep, that too. <laughs> yeah, the angry sun. Yeah. Nice jumpsuit. Okay, wow, this dialogue is shitty. Okay, let's just not do that anymore. Oh, it's daylight, I think, is the one I was trying to think of earlier. Oh. And, and it's just um, getting lost generator, because it's wandering around in the dark in a randomly generated world, so it's oh, yeah. the worst. And since, you know, a big part of horror is that it has to be kind of carefully crafted. Mm -hmm. um, the words, the words procedural work. horror game give me the, the vague idea of one thing that could be done well. If they you know, like co-opted the Shadow of Mordor rival system, where you have like so oh, that you have good. like the persistent enemy who will keep showing up and facing you over and over again, and what they have going on about them will change over time depending on how you fight them. I hope that I hope if that ever happens, they have randomly generated names like Spooky Boogie. Can I yes. just say that the thing I hate most about this game right now is the font. Yeah. Yeah. The font yeah. looks very, like, cheap ass in the game. Yeah, this looks like a terrible. F oh, look. Look at my map sprite. Oh my god, I love it. An intensely evil town! <laughs> <laughs> so intense. Yeah, I'll come oh, yeah, the, uh, the, the, uh, the game I was thinking of was uh, The Hat Man, which is also procedurally generated horror. Oh, I have to get a farm. Oh, Jesus Christ! <sighs> Fuck. Yeah, let's... This this looks like a game only I would love. <laughs> I don't know if you would, though, man. This is... How Are you sh I, I really love, like... I actually really love, like, terrible games if they're a bit unique. Christ on a cracker, how... What's, what's happening? I have to do a thing, and I have to make sure I can get away from Demonica in time, and how do I interact with the region? Consult your advisor? I, I am, it's not doing anything. I don't know how to do stuff. Interact with region, consult. Great. Do I just need to click all of these? I see, just this one way heroes, but with more menus. <laughs> Good. Oh my god, yes, I understand what I'm supposed to do at this point. Press A on yellow NPC. Okay, so I have to find it. Are you a yellow NPC? Okay. Okay, so... Is this... Oh, gotta uh, move somewhere got... to Farmland. When do we lumber mats? Okay. Scavenge for food. Wait, oh, so it's a survival game. You get to make your own decisions later. Oh, okay, so, this is the Farmland. Wait, is this a sort of turn-based game, but you get to move all over a map in real time? I don't... No. Wait, so are we fighting against Demonica? I thought Demonica was the person who gave me the thing. I don't... Press V to check your strategic fire on time to find. Consult my strategic. Starting a farm and a clinic, expanding at least two directions. Ah, uh, this is so boring. Ty, I, I think you just switch over. This is not your kind of game. <laughs> you are not management strategy game, and this is looking like very clunky and awkward management strategy yeah, game. Like, I with action segments awkwardly tacked onto it, yeah, so, uh, yeah. just okay. throw this.